Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first ever lookbook. I do realize that this is probably different than the lookbooks that are already on YouTube because usually people make like four or more everyday wear outfits and I just made an outfit for all of the outfit categories but it, it's a lookbook and it is inspired by Realm of Magic. I personally don't have the expansion, so uh, this girl is not a witch. After each outfit, I will insert a print screen of the whole outfit, so you can see the outfit while when the sim is not moving around. And I will add a close-up so you can also see the makeup look, as I think the makeup is part of the outfit, if that makes any sense. So after each outfit, you will see a close-up and good view of the outfits that I made. This is a witchy lookbook as suggested by the title. So I took inspiration from you know witches, I made it like a modern witchy style like lo lots of black and she has a hat. And I really like doing this one because it is also personally a style that I like. For example I wear a lot of black and if I were a little bit more stylish when I was younger, this is what I would have worn. But I wasn't so stylish, so... <laughs> but I've been wearing black for, for all my life. Like, my mom used to get so frustrated with me because when I was a teenager, I would just wear black, 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 all black. And she would be like, oh my god, Berta, you have to stop wearing black. Get something colorful, please. But I didn't. <laughs> so yeah. Anyhow, this sim is also completely new. Like, I haven't got many sims in my gallery that I could reuse for this lookbook. So I made a new sim. So if you haven't downloaded this sim yet, she will be on the gallery. And for CC, I will be making a CC list. I don't know if it's going to be done when this video is up. I have never done CC lists before, but they look very daunting to me. Plus, I think they take a long, long time. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to find all the CC and link it to you, but I'm gonna do it. And when it's there, I will put it in the description. So yeah. Okay, so since this is inspired by Realm of Magic and I don't have it, I'm wondering, there has been a lot of upheaval, people saying that they like it, but it's very shallow once you have played through everything. And from you guys who have Realm of Magic, I would like to know if it's still worth buying for me. Because I don't feel like buying packs that, that get boring very fast. And I am also not a big fan of supernatural gameplay, like vampires and stuff and, and witches and mermaids. They are not my thing, so I'm wondering if it's worth buying Realm of Magic. Here you'll see me struggling with the party wear. I've got lots, lots of it out because I just didn't know what I wanted for the party outfit. Eventually I got there. Uh, I believe I'm gonna get rid of the long coat in the end because I decided when I added the long coat to this outfit I was like mm, doesn't really fit with the party outfit but I really love it I'm gonna use it in the cold weather outfit so the long black coat will come back. I absolutely love that coat. <laughs> I also really love her piercings. I have a thing with septum piercings they either look good or very bad on people and then there's also like subtle septum piercings and there is more out there septum piercings with motifs on it and, and stuff like that and personally i'm not a big fan of the latter i prefer the subtle septum piercings i like subtle piercings in general better than the very much out there piercings. Also, she doesn't have the tattoo yet. 
because I always forget that we have tattoos in The Sims 4, but I will be giving her a tattoo later because I really thought that su suited her as a person and it also suited her style a lot. I had a difficult time choosing the tattoo and I'm not sure, if I think I cut it out by the way of the video, but you will you will see it in the pictures. It's a, it's a spooky tattoo on her leg. I felt like that that's really nice for the month of October with Halloween happening and stuff. So I chose a spooky, not too big tattoo on her leg. Also I love Halloween, by the way, this is not relevant at all, but I love Halloween. So I really like October and all the spooky stuff. But in the Netherlands, Halloween isn't a thing. I believe it's very American and here in the Netherlands, no one really celebrates it. There are like Halloween parties out there, but it's not a thing that is celebrated in households with families and stuff like that. And the trick or treating? Nope. <laughs> You know, some some places, like neighborhoods, organize their own trick-or-treating, but it's not really a thing. And I'm very sad about it because I love just dressing up all dark and gory and I, I just love doing that. I have some latex and I've got fake blood and all that stuff. And I really like, you know, experimenting with that. Uh, during the Halloween times I one thing I really like doing is making like a big recreating a big cut on my face as if my mouth has been torn this is really disturbing if you don't like these things I'm so sorry but yeah, th th those are things I like also the last outfit is a second everyday outfit I don't know how I came up with this but uh, it is a cat outfit kind of thing. Maybe I thought, you know, witches, black cats, but I wasn't feeling like making a cat, so I gave her a cat outfit. And maybe also Halloween dressing up. Yeah, I can give her a cat outfit. I don't know what my thought process was behind this, but I gave her a cat outfit. <laughs> I really do like it though, though I'm not sure if it really fits all the other outfits, but oh well, it's what I did. But we're nearing the end of the video, so I'm gonna stop rambling. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and let me know what you think of the cat outfit especially, like, should I, do you like it or should I just have left it out? <laughs> Either way, I really hope you liked it and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you like this video, please consider subscribing so you won't miss any of my other videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!